Hi guys! Ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon is about grade 9 math, module 3, lesson 3. That is word problems involving quadratic equations and rational algebraic equations. Sa lesson na to, matututunan natin kung paano tayo mag-solve ng word problems ng quadratic equations and word problems involving rational algebraic equations. Okay, so meron tayong problem dito. The length of a rectangular garden plot is 7 meter longer than its width. The area of the plot is 30 meters squared. Find the length and the width of the plot. Okay. So, ang rectangular garden daw natin is meron siyang 7 meter longer. Ang, ang kanyang length is 7 meter longer than its width. And then, ang kanyang area is 30 meters squared. So, ang hahanapin natin kung gaano ba kahaba ang kanyang length at ang kanyang width. Okay, so in solving this problem, meron tayo ditong step 1, identify the given. Okay, so i-identify muna natin ang ating given. Ang ating width, take note na sa rectangle, sa rectangle kailangan nating makuha ang ating width at ang ating length. Okay, para ma-solve natin ang area. And since ang given natin dito is meron tayong area, so ang given niya is ang area that is 30 meter squared. And then, ang kanyang length, ang length ng ating rectangular garden plot is 7 meter longer than its width. Meron bang given na width? Wala. So, ang gagawin natin, let x be our width. So, si width is x ang kanyang value. Okay? So, si width is x. Now, si length naman is 7 meter longer than its width. Okay, so kung ang width natin is x, ibig sabihin, mas mahaba pa ng 7 meter si length. So, x plus 7. Kasi ang kanyang length daw is mas mahaba ng 7, kay, 7 meters kaysa kay width. So, since ang width natin, ang kanyang size is x, and then, para maging length siya, x plus 7 kasi mas mahaba si length ng 7 meters kaysa kay width. Na-identify na natin ang ating given. So, ang ating width is x, ang ating length is x plus 7, at ang ating area is 30 meters squared. Okay. So, sa step 2 na tayo, ang step 2 natin is formulate the equation. So, i-formulate na natin ang ating equation gamit ang mga given natin na nandito. Ano ba ang formula sa pag-solve ng area ng rectangle? Okay, so area ng rectangle is equal to length times width. Okay, so ganito ang paghahanap ng area ng ating rectangle. Length times width. So since given ang ating area, ang ating area is 30 meters squared is equal to length. Ano yung length natin? Ang length natin is x plus 7. So, x plus 7 ang ating length multiply, multiplied by the width na x. Okay? So, ngayon, pagpalitin lang natin ng uh, placement itong ating equation. So, ilipat natin ang merong variable dito sa kabila at itong ating constant ilipat natin sa kabila. Kapag ganon ang ginagawa natin, walang magbabago na sign kasi pinagpalit lang natin sila ng lugar. Okay? So, ilipat natin si x plus 7 dito. Multiplied by x is equal to 30 meter squared. Okay, so simplify na natin siya. So, x times x is equal to x squared plus 7 times x is equal to 7x is equal to 30. Now, gawin na natin siyang quadratic equation. So, x squared, ang ating quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, si constant, ilipat natin dito sa left side. So, x squared plus 7x, kapag nilipat natin si 30 sa kabilang side, is magiging negative. So, negative 30 is equal to 0. Okay, so ito na yung quadratic equation natin. Dahil meron na tayong quadratic equation that is x squared plus 7x minus 30 is equal to 0, punta na tayo sa ating step 3 and that is... Solve for the unknown values. Okay, so isolve na natin siya. Isolve na natin ang unknown values gamit ang factoring. Okay, so factorable itong ating equation. So factoring ang gagamitin natin. So i-factor natin ang ating equation. Okay, so ang factor ni x squared is x times x. And then, negative 30. So ano yung factor ni 30? 
10 at 3. Kasi 10 at 3, para kapag mag-subtract ka, ang sagot mo ay 7. So, si 10 is saan mo ilalagay? So, positive dito and negative dito. So, 10 dito and 3 dito. Kasi positive 10 minus 3 is 7. So, dapat makuha mo ang value ng iyong um, gitnang term. Okay, so meron din siyang factor si 30 na 1 and 30, 15 and 2, pero dapat titingnan mo ang iyong constant dito sa gitna. Gaya ng ginawa natin na si 10 at si 3, kasi kapag isubtract mo sila, ang sagot is 7. So ngayon, ang next step natin, dahil na factor na natin siya, i-equate natin siya into 0. So x plus 10 is equal to 0, and then x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, x is equal to negative 10 and then x is equal to positive 3. Okay? So, ito na yung value ng ating x. Now, at this given values of x, na x is equal to negative 10 and x is equal to positive 3, we will consider x is equal to positive 3 since we are talking about dimensions. Okay? So, therefore, the width is, ano yung width ng ating rectangular plot? Ang width natin is 3 kasi ang value ni x is 3, okay? So, kung ito yung rectangular plot natin, ito yung kanyang width, ito yung kanyang length, length at ito ang kanyang area na 30 meter squared. Okay, so ang width natin is 3, 3 meter, 3 meters. So, ano yung length natin? Kasi ang length natin is, tingnan natin ang ating given. Ang length natin is x plus 7. So, length is equal to x plus 7. So, replace lang natin si x ng value na 3. So, 3 plus 7 is equal to 10 meter. So, ibig sabihin, ang length natin is 10 meter. Okay? So, ito na yung mga unknown values natin. So, ang sagot natin sa ating question na find the length and the width of the plot. So, ang length natin is 10 meter at ang ating width is 3 meter. Kapag i-check din natin siya, ang area ng re rectangle is length times width. So, i-multiply natin si length at si width. 10 times 3 is equal to 30 meter squared. So, tama yung sagot natin. Another example tayo, Gab and John are planning to repair a house together. Gab thinks that if he works alone, it would take him five hours more than the time John takes to repair the entire house. Working together, they can complete the job in six hours. If John can work in M hours, how long will it take Gab to finish the job? Okay, so ang problem natin is about Gab and John. So si Gab daw, iniisip niya, na kapag siya lang isa yung mag-repair ng house, it would take him 5 hours more than the time of John. Okay? So, mas mahaba yung oras niya sa pagre-repair ng 5 hours more than kay John. And then, kapag sila namang dalawa ang magtrabaho sa pag-repair, makukomplete nilang dalawa ang job in 6 hours. Okay? So, kung si John daw is matatapos niya ang pag-repair ng M hours, how long will it take Gab to finish the job? Okay, so ilang oras daw kaya matapos ni Gab ang pagtatrabaho niya sa repair ng bahay? Okay, so step 1 na tayo, identify the given. Okay, so ilang oras kaya matatapos ni John ang kanyang trabaho? Sabi dito, if John can work in M hours. So M hours, matatapos ni John ang kanyang trabaho. Okay, so isulat lang natin dito na M hours ang kay John. So, si Gab naman, ang sabi niya is 5 hours more than kay John niya matatapos ang trabaho. So, kung ang trabaho ni John is M hours at si Gab is 5 hours more than, so, ang ating ilalagay is M plus 5. Kasi oras ni John plus 5 na matatapos ni Gab ang kanyang trabaho. At kung sila namang dalawa, matatapos nila in 6 hours. Okay? So, 6 hours nilang matatapos kung dalawa silang magtatrabaho. 
So, step 2, formulate the equation. Okay. So, kapag i-add natin si John at si Gab, ang kanilang trabaho is matatapos ng 6 hours. Okay. So, paano natin i-formulate ang ating equation? So, si John, si John, ang representation ni John is magiging 1 over m hours. Bakit 1 over m hours? Kasi si John, matatapos, matatapos niya ang kanyang trabaho ng m hours, ang isang trabaho ng m hours. Kaya 1 over m Si Gab naman, matatapos niya ang kanyang trabaho, okay? So, ang duration ng kanyang trabaho. So, 1 over ilang oras niyang matatapos, M plus 5. At kung together naman sila, kung both is ang isang trabaho, matatapos ng 6 hours, okay? So, take note. Ang isang trabaho ni John, matatapos niya ng M hours. Kay Gab, ang kanyang trabaho, ang isang trabaho, ang isang duration ng trabaho niya, matatapos niya ng M plus 5. Kapag both naman sila, ang isang trabaho is matatapos ng 6 hours. Okay, so gagawin na natin ang ating equation. So, ang ating equation is 1 over M plus 1 over M plus 5 is equal to 1 over 6. Okay? So, si John plus si Gab is equal to 1 over 6 hours. So, ito na yung equation natin. Ito yung tinatawag nating rational algebraic equation. 1 over m plus 1 over m plus 5 is equal to 1 over 6. Step 3 na tayo. Solve for the unknown values. Okay? So, dahil rational algebraic equation nito, ang gagawin natin is kukunin natin ng kanilang LCD or least common denominator. So, ano ang LCD natin dito? I-multiply lang natin ng ating denominator. So, meron tayong M, M plus 5, and 6. So, ang denominator na or ang ating LCD or less, least common denominator is m multiplied by 6 and multiplied by m plus 5. So, m times 6 is equal to 6m multiplied by m plus 5. Bakit naging 6m? Si 6, i-multiply mo kay m, magiging 6m, and i-multiply mo kay m plus 5. So, ito yung LCD natin. 6m multiplied by m plus 5. Dahil meron na tayong LCD, ang gagawin natin is i-multiply natin both sides sa ating LCD. Okay, so ang LCD natin is 6M, M plus 5, and then 1 over M plus 1, M plus 5 is equal to 1 over 6. Multiplied by 6M. Multiplied by M plus 5. Okay? So, ang LCD natin, i-multiply natin both sides. Para hindi kayo malito, i-multiply nyo siya term by term. Okay? So, itong first term natin dito, i-multiply natin sa ating first term dito. So, 6M multiplied by 1 over M, pwede natin i-cancel si M. Okay? So, ang naiwan is si 6. So, 6 times 1 is equal to 6. Okay, so tapos na tayo sa 6M nag-multiply. Si M plus 5 naman yung i-multiply natin. M plus 5 multiplied by 1, so that is M plus 5. Okay, so next naman tayo na term. Plus, so 6M and M plus 5 i-multiply natin kay 1 over M plus 5. Okay, so ano yung pwedeng i-cancel natin? Si M plus 5. So, ang maiiwan is C, 6M. So, 6M times 1 is equal to 6M. Equals, so 1 times 6M times M plus 5. So, i-cancel natin si 6. Ang maiiwan is si M times M plus 5. Okay? So, M times M plus 5. So, kinancel natin si 6. So, ang naiwan is M and M plus 5. Kasi kapag i-multiply mo sa 1, same pa rin yung sagot mo. So, 1 times m is equal to m. 1 times m plus 5 is equal to m plus 5. So, ngayon is i-simplify na natin siya. So, 6 times m is equal to 6m. And then, 6 times 5 is equal to positive 30. 6m plus 30. Plus 6m is equal to m times m is equal to m squared. 
And then m times 5 is equal to positive 5m. So ngayon, isi-combine like terms natin siya. So 6m, unahin natin ang exponent na 2. So m squared, ilipat natin sa kabila, magiging negative m squared. Okay? Dahil nilipat natin siya, so magiging negative m squared. And then, ang next nito is c, 6m, and 6m, and 5m. So ilipat natin sa kabila, magiging negative 5m, plus ang ating constant na 30, plus 30, is equal to 0. Okay, so combine like term, negative m squared, positive and positive, that is 12m, sorry, plus 12m, minus 5m, plus 30, is equal to 0. Okay, so negative m squared, positive and negative, subtract, so 12 minus 5 is equal to 7m, plus 7m, plus 30, is equal to 0. Now, sa previous lesson natin na pag-aralan natin na ang ating a, ang value ng ating a should not be equal to 0 or less than 0. So, dapat hindi negative ang, ang, ang value ng ating a. And since negative tayo dito, so ang gagawin natin is i-multiply natin both sides ng negative 1. Okay? So, negative 1 times negative m squared is equal to m squared. And then negative 1 times positive 7m is equal to negative 7m. Negative 1 times positive 30 is equal to negative 30. And then negative 1 times 0 is equal to 0. Okay, so ito na yung equation natin. m squared minus 7m minus 30 is equal to 0. So ito na yung quadratic equation natin. Dahil may quadratic equation na, na, na tayo, so pwede na nating isolve ang value ni M. Okay, so i-factor natin ang ating equation. That's equal to 0. Ngayon, i-factor na natin ang ating quadratic equation. Okay, so ang factor ni M, of course, ang factor ni M squared is M times M. And then dahil negative tayo dito, so negative and positive. So same lang kanina na ang factor ni 30 is 10 and 3 para kapag i-subtract natin, ang sagot is 7. Pero take note na negative 7. Kanina is positive 7. So dapat si 10 dito natin ilagay sa negative. So dito sa negative 10. And dito si positive 3. Kasi negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. And negative 10 times positive 3 is negative 30. Okay? So ngayon, i-equate natin sila both sides into 0. Sorry. That is m minus 10 is equal to 0. And then m plus 3 is equal to 0. So m is equal to positive 10. And then m is equal to negative 3. Okay, so ito na yung value ng ating m. Since we are talking about ours, we will consider m is equal to positive 10. Kasi oras ang pinag-uusapan natin. So therefore, it takes 10 hours for John to finish the work while Gab. Okay, so si John, ang kanyang trabaho is matatapos niya ng, dahil m hours siya, so m is equal to 10, 10 hours matatapos ni John. At si Gab naman, dahil si Gab ay M plus 5. So, si Gab is 10 plus 5 hours. Matatapos niya ang kanyang trabaho ng 15 hours. Okay, so ang question sa ating problem is how long will it take Gab to finish the job? So, si Gab is 15 hours niyang matatapos ang kanyang trabaho. That's all for today's video guys. Sana may natutunan kayo sa ating lesson for today. See you on our next lesson. Bye!